Can tell you that they love you when they never mean it True love come from God in the name of Jesus Turn right back on the king, I committed treason Thank God he forgives and I was named a preacher I'm screaming Jesus What's up, YouTube? You're inside the edge, and I'm back with another video. Today, I want to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. I want to get into some football, guys. Um, it's looking like the NBA offseason is still happening. There's still maybe some big moves that still needs to be made, but I will be covering that. Same thing with the NFL. You know, the offseason is still happening, but if any breaking news does happen, I will be reporting. But today, I want to get into some football, guys. It's Saturday morning. Today, I want to get into Jalen Hurts. Um, I think he's one of the most polarizing quarterbacks in the NFL. Some, some people may go with Patrick Mahomes, which I understand. I do think that if Patrick Mahomes wins three straight, he's definitely going to be the most polarizing quarterback because nobody wants to see him win. But I think with Jalen Hurts, um, you know, he's definitely the most polarizing quarterback because when you look at his accomplishments, when you see what he's done in his early part of his career, to see where he's at now, he still reaches a lot of, you know, criticism. Some people still think he's an average quarterback. Um, when you see the, you know, the the collapse of what happened last year with Philly being, you know, to a strong start of 9-0, and and then they end up just falling apart towards the end. A lot of that blame went towards Jalen Hurts. You know, when you see the, um, you know, that locker room, it seemed like there was some type of division going on. You know, it, some of that stuff boiled on the sideline. Um, when you look at the 49ers game, that boiled over versus the Giants, the last game of the season last year for them, that was, you know, really bad where um, I felt like Jalen Hurts didn't really rally rally up the guys. There was definitely a lot of things going on there, but I definitely think that this is going to be a new season for Jalen Hurts. Um, it's looking like, um, you know, Kellen Moore is going to be the new offensive coordinator, the play caller, and looking at reports, guys, it's looking like this is going to be a completely new playbook, guys. 95% um, of this playbook is going to be completely new, and that's why I think that this is going to be a great um, season for Jalen Hurts because when you look at last year, um, I felt like me personally from the way that their offense was set up, we've seen a lot of shotgun out of Jalen Hurts. You know, we see a lot of those RPO plays, those halfback fakes, um, those those quarterback read option plays. I think a lot of the teams picked up on that where they slowed down Jalen Hurts, you know, stack the box. Um, make sure he doesn't, you know, take off running. When you can neutralize Jalen Hurts with, with his running ability, that's when he starts to struggle where the pressure is, is on him to be this quarterback to drop back and, you know, throw for 30 pass, you know, thirty attempts and throw for 500. That's not Jalen Hurts. You know, he's not a pure passing um, quarterback. But I do believe that and within this new playbook, that's going to happen. And I definitely think that this is going to be a new situation where, a lot of teams will not be able to figure out Philly because this playbook is going to be, again, with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, you got vertical receivers where, um, you know, Kellen Moore can do a lot with this with this playbook, a lot with this offense because of the targets that Jalen Hurts does have. Um, you even look at the run game with Saquon Barkley, I definitely think that he's a, he still has a lot left in him where he's going to rush for 1,000 yards. You know, Deon, DeAndre Swift was a great running back, but Saquon Barkley, he is a natural runner, you know, and I definitely think that with Kellen Moore, if he can drop a lot of schemes where they can, you know, split this playbook where, you know, a lot of the run game can go towards Saquon Barkley, then that will help Jalen Hurts tremendously because Saquon Barkley, Again, when he's if he could run if he can rush for a hundred yards, there's a highly chance that your team may win the football game. And with Jalen Hurts, it's less pressure for him where he doesn't have to be Hercules every single time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's, this is definitely going to be a new playbook. And I think what a lot of us want to see from Jalen Hurts is can he be a drop back quarterback? Can he drop back? Read deep? Can, can he look on the left side of the field? Read defense look on the right side of the field and read linebackers or corners and make a play. Can he deliver the ball down the field? We know he has an arm. We know he can execute. But can he be that quarterback that can be a pure passer? And I think that's how I kind of see Dak Prescott versus Jalen Hurts. Like, if you ask me who's the better quarterback, I'm going with Dak Prescott. Um, you know, but a lot of people argue, well, Jalen Hurts is more of, you know, a better athlete. And you can, you know, and he is the better athlete. But when it comes to quarterback, being a drop back quarterback, you know, I still think that Jalen Hurts still has a lot to improve on. And when you look at last year, again, talking about the plays and stuff, I do think that last year Jalen Hurts struggled because a lot of the plays they were running was the same plays. And you see there were times last year where Jalen Hurts was holding on to the ball for too long, you know, taking sacks because, you know, a lot of these plays weren't really working. The play calling wasn't the best last year offensively. So with Kellen Moore, I definitely think he's going to edge out a lot of those bad plays and I think I think he's going to implement a new offense where this team can thrive and prosper. Like, again, A.J. Brown is a deep threat. 
Devontae Smith is a deep threat. Dallas Goddard, you know, that's a tight end that can run any route and be open. And with the run game of Saquon Barkley, I think it's going to add less pressure where, uh, you know, um, Jalen Hurts doesn't have to, you know, attempt those, you know, those third and three plays or if it's, you know, second and second and four like they don't have to run with with Hurts you know they can give the, they can hand the ball off to Saquon Barkley so that's why I definitely think that Jalen Hurts is going to improve a lot in this upcoming season I truly believe that he can be a top five quarterback um maybe an MVP candidate when you look at this Philly team I definitely think that they can win 12 plus games I see them in the playoffs I see them being contenders but it's all about Jalen Hurts can he lead this team can he execute with this playbook can he get the guys? Can he rally the guys together? Can he be a leader? You know, these are questions that a lot of people are asking. When you look at last year when the Eagles fell apart toward the end of the season, we've seen, you know, Jalen Hurts isolated himself, you know, not really, you know, talking to the media, not being straight up with the media. But this is going to be a full year where, or well, a full, you know, um, off season where he can learn this new playbook where I think it's going to benefit this Eagles team, including himself, where, again, we're expecting to see a high power caliber offense from this Philly team. And for you Eagle fans, I want to hear your guys' opinion. I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on Kellen Moore. You know, what kind of plays do you think he should scheme up more for Saquon or um, you know, Jalen Hurts? I want to hear your guys' opinion. So um, until next time, um, drop a comment, guys, or tell me who you guys think is the most polarizing quarterback. Who do you think is under the most pressure? Is it Jalen Hurts? I definitely think he's under a lot of pressure this year. Given the contract, you know, he signed a really lengthy contract. I believe it was like $250 million contract. So... It, he, you know, the Eagles is in win now um, situation right now. This is not no project or like Philly wants to win now. So um, I definitely want to hear you guys' opinion. So until next time, have a good day. Peace.